Right, gang? Are you excited? Are you pumped? I'm definitely pumped. It's a brand new series, and it's a brand new series that at least I will find super, super interesting. I mean, hopefully you guys will too. <clears throat> so let me welcome to you to it, because you're probably thinking, who the fudge are Danish Dynamite? The Danes, the Vikings, call you what you will. Even have the fancy little Dan Dan Denmark? Denmark logo. Whew, so beautiful. They have indeed appointed me as manager. They're in for a treat. So who the bloody hell are they? Well, I mean, I'm sure I have to say it first. Hang on, one second. Whew. Even autosaving gets me riled up. By the way, I don't have no idea why do you have to autosave as soon as you start a game. It's so daft, isn't it? Anyways, who on earth are Danish Dynamite? I'll tell you their trusty leader first. Their trusty leader is Queen Margaret II. Sadly, it actually doesn't say her full name, but don't worry. I even have her here with me. She's a uh, moral support. It is the Danish Queen, Queen Margaret II. All sorts of weird names after that, I'm sure. For anyone who doesn't know, she's, well, the equivalent of the English Queen, except ours is human and smokes lots of cigarettes and drinks beer and coffee and eats weird things and looks weird. <clears throat> That's pretty much it. Right, so who on earth are Danish Dynamite and why would that ever be exciting to watch and to play for that matter? Well, if you take a look at the squad, which will reveal a little something, something, something. <gasps> they are indeed 7th in the Premier League. By the way, rest in peace Southampton, you are sadly no longer. Because in their place are the Danes or Danish Dynamites. Any other fancy nicknames? What was it? General? Where do I even see that? General. Yeah, let's go. Oh, the Vikings. You found it. That's definitely the Southampton bit. And rivalries. I was thinking about making some new rivalries. Maybe Newcastle, since it's close to Lindisfarne, which we kind of... Hmm. Well, even thinking about making the whole thing a bit more Viking-themed. and uh, yeah, Maybe for the next series that I eventually make is going to be a bit more acting inspired. It does say our captain is James Ward Prowse. That's very strange because as you can see he's available on a free transfer. Whew, he actually looks really good. Could I scout him? I mean I'll scout him and I could uh, probably sign him. Should I just sign him? No, he doesn't want to talk. It's also a bit pointless because the whole point of this series is we are playing only Danish people in the Premier League. Holy moly, I just realized there's a lot of Danish people here. <sighs> I'm gonna have to sort this out at some point. Darn! Well, the whole premise of this series is something I've dreamt of and thought about for three or four, or maybe even five years ago when FM, whatever, you do the math, um, to have a team only consisting of Danish people, uh, Danish players. Why does he keep saying people? I mean, they are people, right? But only Danish players and see if they could ever fare or how well they would fare in the Premier League, which is, well, in my opinion, the best league in the world, competition-wise. I did try and make it once, but level of stupidity, once again, that is me. 
I spent hours and hours in the editor and making everything look so cool and snazzy and logos and nicknames and all sorts and history and rivalries. Hours doing preseason training, scouts, getting scouts and coaches and all sorts of crap. And by the time the first match came along, I realized that none of my players were homegrown in England. Well, a few of them, but I couldn't actually put a team together. So in my rage and uh, over my own stupidity, I just deleted the whole thing and I never bothered again. But FM21 has gotten me all sorts of excited about playing. So now we're going to give it a, a good go again. Yeah, as you can see, let's do by ability. I mean, some of you will probably know quite a lot of players, but some of them are probably a bit random. I basically did a bit of investigating and I took all the players that are quote unquote the best Danish players. Now obviously the the first, you know, I don't know, fifteen or something is easy, especially as a Dane, you kinda know who is the national you just do the national squad basically, right? But after that it becomes a bit tricky. But you know, we have like Christian Eriksen who is who obviously is the star of Denmark and a very, very, very good player. And now he's back back in England after a terrible loan spell at Inter. Well, that's his own fault for leaving Spurs, which, by the way, I'm also a fan of. No connection there, but we have him and we have Andreas Christensen, who is just a beast of a man. I used to love him in earlier FM when he was like 20, 21 or something. You could buy him and he would probably have these attributes as well and then he would just turn into like the best defender in the world. He's 24 now, but I'm sure he's still going to be amazing and maybe grow a little bit, but who knows. Other than that, it's uh, sadly a bit of an old squad, isn't it? Um, Kasper Schmeichel, of course, as well, known in the Premier League. Regarding him, by the way, <clears throat> obviously what I did was I just went into editors and I took all the Danish players and I moved them to Southampton. Sorry, Southampton. Um, one of the few things I actually did because I figured I was stealing um, Kasper Schmeichel from Leicester, right? So just in case, I gave them, is it this geezer? Yeah, Fraser Forster and who else was it? Alex McCarthy. Just to like, I don't want to ruin Leicester too much. And by the way, there's more here because what I actually also did, <laughs> little side note, I stole away Leicester's, what is it called? Europa League, Euro Cup, UEFA Cup, whatever they're called nowadays. I stole their spot because maybe that's a bit wrong, but I mean, I kind of just want to see. I just want to get stuck in and play as much as possible and see how well the Danes are going to fare. <coughs> maybe we'll just get relegated in the first season because of Europa Cup. But looking at the squad, I mean, maybe it is good that I'm in the Europa Cup or UEFA Cup because there are way too many people. How many are there? 36 people in the first squad. And... That leads me, how do I find this development center? Because I even added quite a few young players as well. It's not like there's no cheating going on. I mean, who's this guy? It's not like they're, you know, amazing or anything. Oh, under 18s, let's see. Added some over under 18s, but some of them are also going to be, yeah, see, these are regions. Some of them are regions, so that's completely random. This guy. Well, good determination. He could maybe become something. Philip Bungo is a real player, also the best one, quote unquote, best potential one is actually a real player as well. Wahid Fagir. I don't know, I'm probably butchered that thing. That's not a very Danish name. Speaking of, I hope you like the um my singing skills. They are very fine tuned. Uh, <coughs> maybe there'll be more of that. Hopefully not. Wait, he's worth one point Two million. That's a bit mad, isn't it? I guess he does have super potential, but maybe we will get him going at some point. What else then? I also added, because when I search for, well, people, I just searched for all the Danish players. I also happened to find a few, like, staff here and there, like uh, Michael Rautov, who, you know, Swansea fans will remember. Uh, I put him in as a coach because, honestly, he'd been. I'm tired of him in real life slacking off doing absolutely nothing. So now he's going to come work for me and he's going to train the Danish lads. 
Uh, same goes for, but not exactly the same. Oh, I need to go to all. Who else did I find? There's Frank Arneson, who is uh, who? Uh, hang on a minute. Yeah, Frank Arneson is actually the geezer that I am named after. Not Arneson. I'm called Frank too, in case you didn't know. But that is indeed the person that <laughs> my mom and dad decided to name me after because he was apparently prolific when I was born with the Danish national team. I don't know. But he's in the van as my, what is that, director of football. He's actually, he's the guy who found the real Ronaldo, you know, the Brazilian one. He found him in real life. Pretty funny story. And Ronaldo ended up marrying Frank Arneson's daughter, that is, because Ronaldo was basically living with him in his house in PSV at the time, just because he was some random youngster kid from Brazil no one has ever heard of. I actually don't know who this guy is. Oh, he's a randomer. Well, you look crap. Wait, if it's near technical... Okay, okay, okay. okay. Who else? Anyone else? Jens Bang, Jens Bang, who in the old days was like old FM. He was the best physio or whatever, fitness coach in the damn game. I'm not sure he is any longer, but <coughs> back then he was at the Zebra, so yeah. 2001 or 2004, or oh, what? Oh, okay, whatever. Back then, he was amazing. Uh, who else? Nah. Who are you? Oh yeah, you were him. Uh, some scouts and stuff. I've added some Danish personnel here and there. I will just say that uh, if you were proper all in and said you can only have Danish staff and scouts and everything, like. By all means, do that. I'll even leave the um, the database in the description so you can get it and go nuts if you want to do that. But mm, it's not necessarily my plan here. I just want to see how far I can actually take these players and see if they can even well perform. I'll probably be in the championship. Maybe that's where the level is. But nah, yeah, I um, I mean honestly, I have no idea what to expect, but. I definitely don't think we should get relegated. We have some very, very good players, and some like good standard, uh, good Premier League standard play. What? What? Is that? Is that words? I don't know. You know, hopefully, you know what I mean. Like, they are very good players for the standard of Premier League. I don't know. I'm babbling. <sighs> it's all the singing. It's kind of knocked me out of. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm I, literally out of breath. Just talking and singing. It's a good thing I have the queen behind me eating some sort of dinner at that picture. Beautiful scene. Um, God damn, there's way too many players. But I'm actually super duper excited about this. What else? Is there anything else we need to go over? Clearly, let's just see for funsies. I added a bit of transfer budget. Oh, not because I'm going to use it, just in case that I don't know, I needed to make new contracts and all sorts of stuff. Uh, I just, I didn't want it to fail like immensely right at the start because I just went bankrupt or something because I couldn't offer new contracts or anything weird. Like, but I'm literally not going to be able to use any of this money. I mean, we can do like this, uh, nationality, Danish. Okay, let's see. And then sort by, what are we sorting by? Val value. Hmm? 4.5 is the most expensive one. Make do with it. So, I mean, I didn't add all of them. Oh, that mentions. I forgot to mention. He's here somewhere. Yes, the real star of the show, of course, is. Hang on a minute. No, 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 no. His name is not Nicholas. Ort Bentner. Yes, there we go. I almost considered not adding him because let's be real, he's pretty shit. But come on, you need Lord Bentner if you're gonna do anything Danish related. Mm. So yeah, I am super excited about this. I'm not excited about figuring out what to do with all these players. Oh, I mean, this is amazing. So as I chose South Southampton, right, the only player that I didn't remove from the team, Yannick Vestergaard. Is actually already listed <laughs> by the well, previous manager, I guess. Should he be listed? He can't run. He just can't run. Do I want that in the Premier League? I mean, he does literally play there for a living, right? Does he play well? I don't know. 
also it's a bit of a like why am I selling play I can't I can't buy anyone anyways and so who knows there's a bit of wanted actions going on Jonas Knusen my famous left back from the Barcelona save and of course where is he Bretinho Martin Braithwaite mm. we'll see if he earns a name change in this one so I'm not sure so the eagle-eyed viewer will maybe see that we are still rocking the good old Southampton kit. I did actually make my own, like, you know, just in the editor, I created a bit of a kit ensemble. But then afterwards, I have since then added all the players and all the badges and all that. So now it has overruled that. And I was like, mm. to be honest, I kind of like the kits anyways, and they kind of represent Denmark in a good way. You have the red one and you have the white one and then the the blue one which we used to back in the day. We also had a blue like away team uh, shirt or something. So I'm not too not too fussed about that. I did put like you said like I said the Danish logo, the actual national oh, where is it? The national team's logo. That's Bolspin Union. Danish football union. Yeah. Learn Danish with Frank. That's what I'm going to call this series. No, definitely not. <clears throat> hmm. That was a lot to chew. And like, if I'm tired just saying it, you lot must be exhausted hearing it. So, yeah. I hope you are super excited because I definitely am. And it's a new challenge. It's something very, very different. And of course, it speaks to me. I'm Danish. It's fun and all that. But... You could do this with any nation. I mean, France and Germany, Brazil, maybe it's not so fun, but you could do it with any smaller nation and see how, how well it's going to actually work. So, yeah, I hope you're going to follow me on this super duper journey. I hope I'm going to have some fun. So, so yeah, if you want to see some more, uh, I'm going to go through all the administrative and then probably come back with first few games of the season uh, no point doing transfer special they'll just be Danish so yeah please like the video if you like it and subscribe for more and all that and from me and the Queen of Denmark ciao